More than ever before, developers have access to information and data that gives them what I think is the most precise information that they can get about the gaming population, especially a gaming population that they're serving. For the most part now, gamers know who their gamers are. They know what their gamers like. They know exactly what makes their gamers tick. However, they've overanalyzed in a way that has tried to harness what will make their gamers spend the most money that they've forgotten that those previous things, the metrics in terms of getting what the player actually likes about their game, how the player resonates with their game are the things that they should focus on and thereby the cascading effect of the player spending more money is what would then follow at the end of the day as a result. It seems to me right now that in the gaming industry, what we're seeing, especially as we're looking at Ubisoft, is probably very interesting. I've always admired Ubisoft and the way they're capable of actually pumping out games. But that's about it. <laughs> I, I think the admiration doesn't go too much further than that because they are an effective and efficient publisher. Yes, in the pandemic year, Ubisoft was able to churn out some real major titles. How they did it was, in my opinion, the accumulation of many studios, many developers with a pipeline that is just so good at pumping out games. With what they're going through right now with their franchises, Star Wars Outlaws, uh, you know, franchise like Assassin's Creed Shadows and even Avatar. And most especially the game that has actually seen one of, uh, you know, what I would think is the most enduring longevity uh, is The Division. Yes, Rainbow Six is there, but Rainbow Six is kind of like that one that makes them a lot of money. The Division kind of is in that mix to and follow suit. We've seen a lot of other games kind of, you know be somewhat hit and miss we know for honor is doing well but we're going to point to these games because they did have massive openings and they kind of you know stayed in the uh in the circuit for the, for a while and in seeing how they're somewhat oblivious with all the data and all the metrics that can even be a accumulated or acquired by just a youtuber like myself just roaming the internet looking up agencies that gathered this data and try to see what's going on it's it's quite mystical to me how they continue to miss what's going on Division agents, I'm making this video because we're now at this point where it just seems like, you know, we we're looking in hindsight as everybody was laying down the work and laying down the foundation and having these conversations saying that Ubisoft was making what I thought was an error in not putting a Division 3 game as its priority. I think they 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 basically bet on the wrong horses, not just the wrong horse over many, many different years. Now, what's in question right now is the time span for a Division 3 game. A lot of excitement has already waned for the Division 2. There's just no bringing that into perspective as to whether players would want to come back without anything significant. Some players may come back, depending on how they actually restructure the game. But the Division 3 is rumored to have started development in 2024. Do you all remember very carefully, and I think you know, some content creators or even myself may have been at the precipice of this. I remember making a lot of these Division 3 videos where I said, man, it just makes sense that they make a Division 3. Apparently at that time, they hadn't even approved the Division 3 in production. And then I made a post to Ubisoft and I just said, hey, man, Division Massive, tell us if you're making. I just tweeted them. And then like hours later, we got a report from Insider Gaming saying that there were no plans to make a Division 3 game. Only for months later, we hear that Julian Garrity is going to take the executive producer role on a Division 3 game after he's finished shipping Star Wars Outlaws. So again, to me, I think the timing is now something that we have to take into question and say, how interested is the audience that has been the core of a Division game? How interested are they going to be at a Division concept? Well, again, if we don't make a video about the obvious 3,000 times, who else is going to do it? We already know that within the Division's ecosystem, there are beloved markers. Data tells us that there are some parts of the whole ecosystem that is strong. Some of the reception, some of the items that have been added in the game in terms of content pieces, innovation have really resonated. And the developers can probably bring, say, something that makes sense in terms of collating all what needs to go in this Division 3 game from data sets that they have in that regard. Right now, there's also news of some surveys that are floating around in the community. 
Now, again, you know, some people have said, you know, it's probably going to be a while before we see a division game. I get it. But remember, they pumped out division, you know, from division one to two was about three years. But still, three years from now is still a ways to go. But time does fly, and we hope that everything is okay and we're all here alive to see another division game. Believe you me, a lot has happened. Good friends have been made. Good friends have passed along in the journey from Division 1 to 2 and even the Division 2 until now. And, you know, everyone has their stories along the way in terms of this conversation. So what is going to happen at the end of the day? How are they going to take the data from these surveys that are being sent out? How are they going to take previous data from the Division 1 days that they gathered and the reception from gamers and the behavior from gamers? And how are they going to harness it into their Division 3 game? Let's just take, for instance, we put Massive in a box and squared away from all of the controversy that's going on right now in the gaming industry. How does all that look for them when it comes down to actually sitting down to think through what gamers actually liked about two iterations of their games? Because we know for sure that the one thing that was missing with the division as a whole was a mass appeal. And the mass appeal was something that the game never necessarily had. What also was missing were aspects of its central and core appeal. So it kind of was in a weird place. The things that made its hardcore gamers and its hardcore aficionados kind of stay eventually got watered down. The thing that would have attracted a mass appeal was not necessarily appealing enough or was at least cut short. Example, a, you know, a, a um, an extraction mode that would have appealed to a wider audience had they known about it or had they come in a, on, uh, I would say, better footing was, you know, survival. Survival is still a viable concept, which is weird because it seems like I've been asking these questions for many years. And I think I'm going to continue asking them because I'm not going to back away from this one because I just the memories, they continue to stick. I remember there was a stream going on by a community manager years ago. This was like, I think, about a year to two years into the division's life cycle. And he was doing this live stream and everybody was chatting and asking questions. And I asked, are they going to make a survival mode for the division, two? And he replied, his name was Anthony. That was his first name, I think. And he said they have no plans for a survival mode. Since that answer was given live on chat, I wish we could go back and pull the... Re I should have recorded and captured that clip. Since then, many other game modes have actually been released on the Division. In fact, this was before Warlords of New York. So take everything pre-Warlords of New York and then look how much content has actually come since then. Descent and uh, Summit and all of these other modes. Yet the mode that was the most, you know... I think viral mode in all of the division, yes, they probably didn't have as much data to collate. I mean, that is their own fault, seeing that the division one did not land very strong because of a lot of bugs and all kinds of things. But they still have not brought out, a, uh, you know, an extraction mode in this particular game. Perhaps, according to rumors, they were trying to harness it and market it as an individual game for Heartland. But that is a missed opportunity. So, again, a miss in trying to basically go ahead and, you know, in instead of taking their data properly to say, OK, what are our players going to like and how is that going to harness funds? They wanted to jump straight to the money using it rather than actually curating the experience in a way that it actually did good. Had they been developing Heartland as a mode within the Division 2's ecosystem using its metrics, even pulling the Division players to come in and do, say, maybe PTSs or all kinds of stuff so that they can give feedback on this mode without all of the secrecy, I think by now we would have had a survival mode that would have kept the Division 2 relevant and then captured the mass appeal. Tarkov is an extraction shooter, not saying that the division is like Tarkov, but that mass appeal is what you need from a player base that is outside of your core audience. And because of the way they've actually misused their data, they missed it. I can't stress how much the decision making in Ubisoft Massive has been very strange for me to try to wrap my mind around. Now, yes, maybe if they actually asked me, I'll probably do a bad job too. But I think, you know, the perspectives are really, really heavy. And you know, with all of what running a big studio entails, I feel like sometimes the developers can get caught up in all of the other things that's not playing their game. And, you know, that's very sad because the division is a game that requires you to play a lot of it, to be able to see a lot of it. If you don't play a lot of it, you don't get to see a lot of it. And they put the players in the position where the player has to play a lot of it, too. That's also their fault. They make things very difficult to get. The game is designed to keep you grinding. So in, in, you know, in then grinding, you're now seeing a lot of challenges. And, you know, there's an upside, which is you get to see opportunity. But then the developers themselves being 
in my opinion, somewhat far away from the game. I mean, they don't get to see the opportunity because, again, it's their job. I mean, I can't imagine having to develop a game and then go home and then be playing the game. Like, you know, I, I can understand wanting to play something else. And so there's just so many challenges that this game faces that as they're coming out of Division Three, they have a wealth of wisdom. They have a wealth of data to leverage. And if they cannot nail it, I just don't see how, you know, this franchise be, exists anymore, in my opinion. But these are my thoughts. I'd love to hear us in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. Looking forward to a Division Three, regardless of all of the challenges that Ubisoft is facing right now. I'm still optimistic. I've, I've been optimistic, guys. You know, even when there was no Division Three planned, I was one of the few optimists out here. So, hey, I might as well stick with it until I finally hear that it's all finally over and then, you know, everything is basically falling apart. But as long as we haven't heard that it's falling apart, I'm still just going to sit here and be waiting for what it is that we get to see. And hopefully they bring a good product. Hopefully it's a product that actually appeals to their audiences and follows exactly the data that actually made their audiences tick and give them money in the past. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I appreciate you guys' time and audience. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section, and hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.